Well, welcome to this week's Bushel Up. And uh, first off, we'd like to thank all of you uh, who were able to attend our, our tours last week. Uh, good several days, although it was a little hot there the, the first couple days. Um, appreciate the conversations afterwards and, and hope to follow up with you. Uh, hopefully uh, some of the things we discussed, uh, just as far as the systems approach, um, will make a difference on your farm. So uh, with that, kind of talking about where we're at this week, a uh, few combines starting to poke around in some fields. Uh, for us, our, our April 20, 25th planted corn, uh, we have a test plot, 106 day stuff, testing in that 27, 28 moisture uh, up to the 115 day that's just kind of finishing black layer. Uh, common comment, talking to some growers, uh, observing fields is, you know, the smoke line started coming down about halfway and then it's kind of stopped. Uh, Typically, that's a pretty good thing if we can slow that, that finish down. We were concerned a little bit about that. Uh, we just got to be a little patient here. Um, you know, some dry land fields that maybe died a little bit prematurely, shorter season. I see those kind of coming out in that mid, mid 20s to lower 20s moisture. Uh, a few soybeans, uh, group two maturity, are starting to pull out of the field, uh, just kind of hitting that stage. Uh, the mid season, two fours, two fives, we're, we're probably looking at another week and then. Obviously, we got the group threes lagging behind, but all that to say, harvest will be up on us here shortly. Uh, if it's not started already, I um, want to remind everybody, please be safe. Uh, please be careful. Uh, you know, it's easy to get in a hurry. Um, you know, there will be a lot of pressure on us to get this, this crop harvested timely. Uh, one of the things we've seen with the late heat and just uh, the lack of moisture is a lot of crop stress. So uh, if you're driving by a field, you see your ears starting to hang. Uh, droop down there a little bit or you're seeing some some plants uh, randomly kind of die off early there is some some stock pressure uh, stock disease crown rot uh, typically again those come with this hot heat uh, when we're pushing that plant we're a little short of maybe water uh, but we've got plenty of sunlight you know sometimes that plant will cannibalize itself so we got to be aware of that really check your fields uh, be checking your stock quality uh, the old push test just kind of walk in there is a good way to determine if you if you have a problem. Uh, I was in a field of dry land yesterday of ours up at David City. We've already got plants falling over, uh, but they're plants that didn't even end up really putting on an ear. So uh, we're gonna have to watch that. We're gonna have to be timely, but again, be safe, be careful. Uh, when we start talking about the later planted stuff, uh, you know, here 113 day at Aurora, uh, we are half milk line on 113 day hybrid planted. Uh, middle of May. So when you're in that May, May 20th type window, 15th to 20th, uh, everybody's asking, are we done irrigating with the nice uh, rain that we've got? Uh, potentially, um, it'll, it'll depend on how hot we get here. We got a little heat picking up. Um, you know, don't, don't quite bail out yet and think we're done. Obviously the earlier stuff, we're pretty safe now and, and we can kind of move on to harvest mode. But there may be a little irrigating out here yet for us. Uh, and then obviously we have the mid-June replant. So three big windows there. First window, we're good. Second window, we gotta kind of keep an eye on it depending on your maturity. And then uh, that late window, we gotta keep going. So uh, everybody stay safe. Uh, hope everybody has a great harvest. I expect very variable yields. It's gonna be all over the board from what I'm seeing. There'll be some good, there'll be some, you know, maybe exceptional here and there in, in pockets, but there'll be a lot of bad and ugly mixed in. So be patient. It is what it is and, and we'll get it all in due time.